We're here in Musenberg, which is one of our beaches where we now collect water quality samples every week. The city now collects weekly water samples at 45 of our popular recreational sites along our coastline every week, with a total of 108 beach locations monitored throughout the month. Previously, we tested every second week, but with this new regime, we ensure that the data is more up-to-date and relevant for those visiting our beaches. The officials take the samples at the exact same spot following the new sampling regime with the GPS coordinates. This is very important for consistency. The results from the Water Quality Lab are posted on the city's online data portal, where you can see the latest raw results, as well as an FAQs document covering everything you need to know about coastal water quality. Go to the city's website and search under Cape Town Coastal Water Quality to stay informed about your favorite beaches. We use pre-sterilized 250 ml plastic bottles to collect coastal water samples. All bottles are pre-labeled prior to sampling. During the sampling, it is important to be aware of your environmental conditions um, and any possible source of pollution. Uh, samplers wade into the water to collect a representative sample 30 centimeters below the surface of the water. Samples are stored in cooler boxes with frozen ice packs, digital temperature displays to maintain the integrity of the samples. The chain of custody form is then completed samples are delivered to the lab for analysis. Welcome to our microbiology laboratory. This laboratory complies with the latest requirements of ISO 17025. It is assessed regularly for compliance by SANAS, which is the body in South Africa mandated to accredit testing and calibration laboratories. For the summer season, the routine coastal samples are outsourced to an independent laboratory and ad hoc samples are analyzed by our laboratory. A microbiologist demonstrates the use of enterolid to detect and enumerate enterococci. A 100 ml sample is decanted into a sterile vessel. The defined substrate nutrient indicator is added to the sample, mixed and allowed to be dissolved. The sample is poured into a sterile quantity tray, sealed and incubated for 24 hours. Defined substrate technology nutrient indicator is used to detect enterococci which fluoresces when enterococci is present. This rapid 24-hour method can assist all role players in their decision as it allows results to be available much sooner than conventional filtration methods.